Welcome to 2017 PaperCon exhibition. This year we will speak about products for chemical pulp washing. Protex International is a French company with a worldwide activities and with a presence in many different industries, paper included. In this slide, a typical flow sheet describing a general pulp and paper process is proposed. You can see that the washing step is just after cooking and just before screening and bleaching. Washing step is a very important one to obtain a pulp with a good quality. Which is the goal of washing step? It is to eliminate as much as possible all the impurities contained in the pulp that you don't want to carry on your process. The most important impurities we are speaking about are lignin, soaps, soda, pitch and metals. Some of them come from the wood itself and some other come from the chemical you put at the beginning of your pulp production process. In this slide you can see a description of washing process. You start with your dirty pulp mat that you want to clean to wash and to do that you add clean water. The result is a mix of fibers and chemicals diluted in the water. Then the most important step of washing process starts, the drainage. During the drainage, the drainage liquid takes away most of the chemicals you don't want in the process. If all the, uh, the steps have been organized in a good way, the result will be a much cleaner pulp respect to the beginning of the process. It's time now to discuss about the most important problems linked to a bad washing step. It is clear, considering all the discussion we had until now, that a bad washing efficiency means a high contaminant carryover. But which are the most important consequences of high contaminant carryover? The most important consequences are the, the, the following ones. First of all, uh, extra chemicals to bleach organics instead of pulp. That's clear, because if you have a lot of chemicals inside the pulp, a part of the chemicals used to bleach are, let me say, destroyed or used or consumed by the uh, impurities that you have in your pulp. A second negative consequence is the excess of fresh water that you need to try to drainage in the best way your pulp, as we saw in a previous slide. Another problem is in, on the filter. If you have a lot of soaps, they can create a big problem on the filter. Another problem, as you know very well, is the presence of pitch that can create problems during the, the paper process. Can, can decrease also the quality of the paper you obtain at the end. Last but not least is the Brighton reversion because as you know very often you can have this kind of problem in the, bleach, in the bleaching pulp when the content of metals is too high you can have the phenomenon of uh, Brighton's reversion. But which are the most important bad effects of the problem we have just discussed? At the beginning, the most important aspect that is affected by the bad uh, washing efficiency is the productivity. Because bad uh, washing step means more cleaning stop and consequently a lower productivity. The second effect is uh, uh, increase of cost because you need to use more chemicals to bleach as we discussed before. The, sec the third effect is on quality, because a paper with a high content of pitch and stickies is a lower quality paper. At the end, the, the another aspect that is affected is the environmental one, because if the, the washing step is not good, you need to increase the consumption of fresh water to try to obtain, to increase the results of wash step. Now the discussion of the problems is over. Let's start with the discussion of the solutions of these problems. 
The solution is the wash aid. What is wash aid? Wash aid philosophy, you can say in this way, is to improve mill operation by increasing the wash efficiency in two ways. The first way is to improve the drainage. The second way is to reduce the contaminant carryover. How we can do to obtain all these two effects? Because only one surely is not enough. To increase the drainage, we can use surfactants that reduce the superficial tension and consequently can improve the drainage rate or, or end, improve the drainage volume. While to decrease the contaminant carryover, we can use a dispersing agent to keep the contaminant dispersed in the water or dissolving agent to try to dissolve a part of this contaminant in the water. The products we propose today act all those three effects. That means that they work as a surfactant, as a dispersing agent and also as a dissolving agent. In this slide you can see the most important characteristic of the two products we propose as wash aid solution. Both of them are anionic, both of them are, have a good biodegradability and both of them have Ecolabel certification. Moreover, one of these two products is also FDA and BFR approved. Let us summarize now the mechanism and consequently the benefits of our products. The mechanisms are the following ones. Modification of liquid viscosity, wetting of surface, dissolving and dispersing effect. Consequently, the benefits are the increase of the drainage the watering, reduce of solid carryover and also COD carryover, reduce of pitch deposition, and increase of mat consistency. In this last slide we propose the figures we obtain with a customer in Europe pro producing sulfate pulp. You, you can see easily that by adding our product all the parameters improved. The drainage increased, the content of lignin and the organic substances decreased, the COD decreased, and the pulp consistency increased. That proved the efficiency of our product. Thank you very much for your attention.